Hi everyone and welcome back to Scale Studio. Today we're going to depart from the usual with this 1700 scale kit from Dragon. And a Flyhawk detail set of course. Right off the bat it's pretty easy to see that this is a really nice kit. While the size of the gun barrels for the anti-aircraft uh, batteries could be smaller, the kit comes with several sprues of well molded and detailed parts, as well as a small sheet of photo etch. The Flyhawk set is amazing. It comes with seven or eight frets of beautifully done photo etch, which is thin, well detailed, and easy to bend. There are also several resin and turned metal details included, taking care of your need for any further aftermarket. Suffice to say, if I can get this right, the finished product is going to be amazing. Well, without further ado, let's get building. To start, I wanted to finish probably the hardest part of the build, and that is making the turrets and anti-aircraft batteries. First, let's start with the main turret. I started by clipping off the plastic barrels, then drilling them out with a tiny drill bit until I could fit the turned parts inside. When using CA glue, you want to try to embed a part versus just gluing it to the surface of the part. It makes the bond so much stronger than it would otherwise be, and makes handling the part a little less worrisome. Once the gun barrels and turret shell were all assembled, I had to remove most, if not basically, all of the surface detail so I could replace it with photo etch. Removing small details can be really tough, but it doesn't have to be. If you're careful and you're using a sharp hobby blade and work in small layers, you should be able to get it all off with no problems. I found that with complex bend in shapes, it was easiest to bend it as I went, bending each section to shape and gluing them down individually. For thicker photo etch, it might not have worked as well, but with the really thin stuff that I'm using here that bends the way you want it to, it works great. Now one of the biggest challenges I faced with the turrets was the life rafts that are mounted all over them. The issue is that each one is supposed to have a small photo etch mesh inside of it, and I could not, for the life of me, get it to stick properly. So far, this part of the build has given me the most trouble, and hopefully it's the hardest thing I can encounter. Now let's do something even tougher, photo etch anti-aircraft batteries. To start off, I'm going to remove all the parts that we'll need from the fret. I just started to use this piece of fiberglass board to cut photo etch on, and I love it. It makes it super easy to cut photo etch cleanly without bending or damaging it, and I highly recommend that you try it out if you're working with a lot of photo etch. The easiest way that I have found to remove photo etch from the fret without leaving small, unwanted nubs of brass behind is to take the tip of your hobby blade and lightly slide it down the length of the connection point until you meet some resistance. This will be where you want to cut it. From there, just line up the blade and carefully cut it out. This won't work with all types of photo etch, but I found it to be a pretty reliable technique. I wish that I could have filmed this better, but I had to bend all of the pieces into the correct shape. This is probably the toughest part of the process, and once you have a little practice, you should be fine. 
just make sure you have an optivizer or something similar, as seeing these tiny brass pieces is nearly impossible without some form of magnification. Once all the parts are bent into shape, we can begin the process of gluing them all together. I've found that it's easiest to use a piece of wire to apply the super glue, as it deposits only a tiny amount and application is fairly straightforward. Make sure that you have a fine pair of tweezers and a steady hand because you have a limited amount of tries to get the position right. I really don't think that the type of super glue you use matters very much. Gel super glue will be for sure the easiest way to apply and manage, but I'm using VMS Black CA and really haven't had any issues with it. Just make sure that you don't use extra thin CA or anything like that and you'll be good to go. As you can see, now that I'm building the towers here, it's super easy just to glue on the correct anti-aircraft emplacements and leave it. Had I not built them first, this would have definitely been a much less enjoyable project. Here's another example where I had to remove some plastic to replace sections of the ship with photo etch. First, when doing this, know your application. If it's going to be replaced with a section of decking or completely covered over, then don't worry about damaging the appearance of the section. Make sure also when removing parts to do it in small sections or layers at a time. It makes it a lot easier to do and gives you a lot more control over your motions. Finally today, we're going to be looking at my first attempts at applying guardrails. I found it was easiest to first bend the rails into the correct shape, then apply glue and drop them into place. Here's one of the applications where it really would have helped to have gel super glue on hand, as I would not have had to apply as much to the rail and risk obstructing detail. Note to self, use gel super glue on the next rail sections you do. Once those were on, I dropped in the two anti-air batteries and was able to dry fit everything together so I could see it all as a unit. Once I'd finished patting myself on the back, I decided to break everything back down and stow it in some small plastic containers I had lying around. These were actually super helpful as it keeps everything super safe and out of the way until I start working on it again. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. As always, thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to like the video and share it with your modeling buddies. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as it helps me out a ton and make sure that you are up to date on all the projects I'm working on. Finally, huge thank you to my amazing Patreons who help me keep making content like this for you all. If you want to join them in supporting the channel and also get some sweet rewards in return, head over to my Patreon page. Link is on screen now and down below in the description. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.